Let's see. So last night, I watched the movie I'm Not Ashamed, and it's a movie about um, Rachel Joy Scott, who was the first um, victim of the Columbine shootings. Um, and the movie is about her life and her leading up to becoming a Christian and basically her impact on everybody around her and it was an absolutely incredible movie. And it's based off journals that she wrote back and forth um, to a friend. <clears throat> and uh, her mom turned them into a uh, movie producer and uh, had a movie made. And it just was full. First, I was kind of like, eh, because she's like a typical teenager, you know, she's partying and hanging out with friends, and I'm just kind of like, oh, I'm not sure about this, but as the movie goes on, it just got better and better and better. It was truly inspirational, and it's crazy, like, she... I don't want to give anything away. <laughs> I mean, if you ever Google her, I'm sure this will come up too. Um, but she drew this picture in her journal, and they call it um, the 13 Tears drawing, and it's of her eyes, and then it's there's 13 tears, and the tears appear to be watering a rose. Well, that rose is of a plant called the Columbine plant, which is what the school was named after. And um, there were 13 people killed in the Columbine shootings, and she drew this picture before the shooting, before it was ever even known, like, oh, I don't know, like, I just lost it when I realized what the 13 tears were. It's crazy. And that was, like, a true part of the story, like, she actually drew that in her journal. There were actually 13 tears, she didn't know about the shootings, but throughout the movie she talks about not being able to see her future, not being able to imagine going to college and getting married and having kids, and it was almost like she knew she was going to die. I don't know, it was just, it was a really good movie. I thought it was going to be all sad and like depressing, and it really wasn't. It was very inspirational. She really made an impact on the world around her when she was only 17 years old. So, yeah. It's a big deal. So I definitely encourage you guys to watch the movie because it's just... It was a really good movie. I can't believe I waited as long as I did to see it. Yeah. It was phenomenal. It definitely leaves a lasting impression. And I mean, if the story was true, she was what a Christian should be. And it's kind of amazing that at 17 years old that she was. That, I don't know, like, 
thinks she was very smart, I guess. But, but thanks for watching.